Hey, hey, combo community. Hey, it's Comic Hunter 1014 coming at you with yet another haul. Yeah, I know it's been a while. It's been probably about a week or so. Uh, but I've uh, just been uh, really busy with the uh, you know, work and, you know, working part time at Second and Charles. I just haven't had enough time to do a <laughs> to do a haul video. I don't have too much going on. I'm trying to cut back again on my comic books because I'm trying to get a tattoo my first tattoo yeah so it's scheduled on the 20th so i'm just trying to not spend too much not trying to be too crazy with my money i uh, try to save it for my tattoo on the 20th of this month so yeah man so i'm just uh really excited about the tattoo and uh you know just uh trying like i said just trying to save a little bit of money here and there oh anyways let's go ahead and uh, begin the haul it's gonna be a small haul just a few books here and there um but i just gotta start off with captain marvel Number 43, um, yeah, I don't know if you guys, well, you can't see, but <laughs> when you get up really close, it's pretty beat up, man. I just saw it there in the, uh, in the, in the tub, and I just, uh, I don't know, I just thought it was, I don't know, I just picked it up, I guess, just because, <laughs> I don't know why I picked it up. Uh, I like the cover, um, the colors are, like I say, everything's kind of, Dull and faded. Um, there's like a lot of um, I don't know how to call it. I don't know color break. Just a lot of fading, I guess. And the spine is kind of has a color break down the spine, and some chips here and there are foxing. Um, but other than that, the staples are 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 you know intact, and the uh, the whole book is in you know is all there. So I just thought for a dollar twenty five, you know, I just said I can't beat that. So what the heck? Take a chance. <clears throat> and then we have Angela number one. Queen of Hell. Uh, not too sure about this one either. Just I like the cover, and so I just thought I'd pick it up. You know, plus when I brought it back home, I I didn't realize there was another book in back of it. I don't I don't think the books were shit anyway. But Starbrand and Night Mask number one. Like I said, two books for the price of one. Yeah, hell yeah, man. So, and then we have oh, I love these covers right here. Dark Rain Punisher number one, uh, variant edition. Uh, Remender and Opinia. Uh, yeah, I just, I just love this cover, man. Just this homage to, a, what is it, ASM. Oh, man, I'm going to get it wrong. One, two, oh, I don't know what number it is, but, you know, the Punisher, where he has uh, Spider-Man in his scopes. So I like I like this homage cover to it. You know, it's, uh, it's pretty badass, I think. And, you know, except for 125, heck yeah. And then I also got um, Dark Rain Punisher number five, uh, the variant edition. Like I said, another... Uh, Pretty cool ass, um, I think homage. I think this is, I want to say this is the one with, I think I just had this one too. That is it, oh my gosh, is it Captain America and the Punisher or Captain America? And oh my gosh, is it, or Punisher and Daredevil? I can't remember which one it was, but I think it's another homage cover here as well. But I just bought them just because of the cover. Cover it, I love the covers, you know. And then this one's another cover by, well, not cover by, but artist by, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I hadn't. Never seen this book before. I think this is a new book um, by Frank Frazetta. Um, yeah, just to have any of his, you know, I mean, any any kind of artwork by Frank Frazetta. I know it's not, you know, original artwork, of course, <laughs> but, you know, anything that has to do with Frank Frazetta, you know, I'm all on board, you know. And so when I saw this one sitting in the tub, I'm like, heck yeah, I'm going to pick that up for $1.25. <laughs> all right. And, and the books are all in pretty good condition. I'd say very fine to, to very fine minus condition. Uh, and then we have, uh, I missed out on this one when it first came out. Um, I had a couple of opportunities to buy it, you know, uh, in the past, but just didn't want to pay three ninety nine for it. But I saw these in the tub, and I thought I'd just go ahead and pick them up. You know, number one, die number one. Uh, and then I have die number two as well. For $1.25, oh yeah. And then we have The Invisibles, my second copy of this. Um, like I said, I think you remember me showing uh, one of the, uh, I pick up uh, this one when I went back to Cali, you know, when uh, I think it was, in a, was it an antique shop, I, antique find, I think I found that. Yeah. So this will be my second copy of this one. If anything happens with this one, hell yeah, I got two copies, you know. Paid a pretty pretty good deal, too. I mean, <laughs> got a pretty good deal, I mean. Uh, I think this is the last of the Dollar 25 book. It's Hellboy Jr. Halloween special. <laughs> I think uh, because of the cover by it. Like, it was a, <laughs> it was a funny-ass cover. Um, so with the Hellboy's movie coming out, I'm not saying it's going to blow up or anything like that, but, you know, I just thought it's like, it's got to just cover for the cover by, I guess. <clears throat> now we go on oh, no, this, I guess. Uh, we may have one more after this. Okay, yeah. okay, we have one more. <laughs> we have two more of this. 
Uh, well, one more after this one. So this is Detective Comics uh, number 608. Uh, I can't remember what... The, is, there, is there any importance this one? I can't remember if it's Arkham Knight. Um, something like that. I think it must be a first appearance of Arkham Knight or something. I can't remember who it is. Um, or the Jokers. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. Um, shit. I'm drawing a blank. Uh, and then we have, I think it's the last of Dollar 25, is Flashpoint, Batman, Night of Vengeance, uh, Johnson cover. Has a couple of spine ticks right here, but other than, other than that, it's, in, I mean, the colors are still nice and vibrant. Um, yeah, so I just picked it up. <clears throat> so now we're getting to the 50 centers. And uh, we got Generation Generation X, number one, the foil wraparound. I don't know, I just, uh, 50 cents? I wasn't going to leave it there. I mean, it's in almost near mint condition. Nothing wrong with this cover either, man. It's beautiful condition. <clears throat> And then we have Moon Girl and the Devil Dinosaur number two. Uh, like I said, just another, uh, I just saw it in there and said, what the hell? I like the cover. It's kind of cool. <clears throat> and these are going to be the last two books right here that I found. Uh, and this, <laughs> I was really happy to find this one here, All New Wolverine. Because I think I had maybe one through seven or eight to my, in my old PC. Um, but yeah, just to find this one in there, number three. For 50 cents? Are you serious? For 50 cents? <laughs> and it's, in, I would say, not the best condition, you know. Um, probably fine, maybe fine minus condition. But the next one after this, man, I was really happy to see this one in there for 50 cents. <laughs> All new Wolverine number two. I think it's the first appearance of Honey Badger or Gabby. Um, I wish it was the second premium. That would have been awesome. <laughs> but it's not. And I don't know if I have... Uh, if I have another copy of this or not, this might be my, make it my second copy. Um, if not, you know, to pick it up again for 50 cents, uh, that's unbelievable, man. So when I saw a book, I'm like, holy shit, hell yeah, I made my whole night right there. Uh, so anyways, boys and girls, this is uh, my uh, haul video. I think from maybe uh, there was some from last last night's um, shift and then I guess last week's shift as well. Uh, yep, so just uh, just want to say I uh, hope you guys have a great day. hope you guys had a great day. And, uh, you know, uh, I guess I'll see you guys and gals um, later. All right, this is Comic Country 1014 signing off. Cheers, everybody.